Here we are in the kelp forest, an interesting area with many sights to see, for those that don't get hopelessly lost first. Ah, the kelp forest. That was an awesome fish there. Got with the hat with the throw and everything. Got it back on his head. Anyways, hey everybody, welcome to the kill forest where they have random plants that try to kill you. Uh, this is probably one of my least favorite areas in the game. Due to the fact that it's just... Uh, it's not... That dude got me twice, wow. That... Not... That's what I'm looking for. Looking for. It's so... It's hard, but not in the good way. It's kind of in the more confusing. There's a good chance you get lost. And don't be surprised if I will get lost from this. I probably will at some point in this in this part. Not this part, maybe not. Next part. So I won't be able to go through Kill Forest one part, so. Definitely the other two. Also, you got these things. These things are so dang annoying. You have to get all of them. That's probably unlucky, but when you have to get from far away to close, pretty dang hard. Anyways, here. This is probably one of the strangest sock skin in the game. You're probably thinking, what? You have to hit all these in a row. If you miss, you just hit just one. You have to go and kill yourself. So, it'll come out so quickly. I don't know what I live for anymore! So, you get all of them in a row perfectly. I'm just talking about stuff here quickly. Hi, Mrs. Pop. Driving class isn't out here today, is it? Uh, no, SpongeBob. Why, why do you say that? Do you think we'd have class out here just to hide from you? <laughs> How silly. I'm just uh, gathering twigs for the winter. Yes, that's it. She said for the winter. No, it just says for winter. Ooh. Oh, can I help? I have a merit badge in twig gathering. Okay, that's a silly. Actually, you can help with something else. These robots showed up and scared all the students, I mean, uh, campers, off into the forest. Before the ranger arrives, someone needs to go out and find them. I'll help you find them, Mrs. Pop. I'm the sponge for the job. Thanks, SpongeBob. I'll make sure to give you a nice reward when you found all of them. We're gonna rest the reward. Anyways, toilet! So anyways, let's try to kick the water there. You can also kill yourself right there if you want to. After it's, it's the range here, you kind of like... And all of them? Yep, got them all. That's that. That's always so random. I mean, there's a random... I mean, there's other stretches and stuff. But this that random one. Cost us... Uh, I don't get that. So anyways, you gotta find all the campers in the area. And there's three, three, two in this one. Anyways, you can jump up here. Actually, no, can I? No, I can't. I guess it goes this. Let's go this way. Then. Press the button down here. And now start making plants grow. Quick, so go down in that area. In this, just this first area, you can actually skip most of it. You can actually literally walk to the end if you really want to. How we won't honor the game then. And that's what we all want to do, right? 100% it! So I got a nice little bouncy tree things and I hit the button. This rises up. I don't know how pressing a button makes plants grow. Someone should get. Someone, should, whoever invented that button, should get to the arch. Wow. Egg, 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 wow, I can't pronounce it. It's A G R I C U T L T L L. -L. U R E Agriculture. There we go. Should go on the agriculture field. Uh, press on this button. Let this plant grow, which for some reason is not a cutscene this time. The other ones. And we saved one camper. Now saved is in Hugh quotation marks. Because he's still stuck up here. 
We didn't save him, we found him. And now you're stuck all the way up here, kid! Have fun getting down. And I found the water, didn't I? Yay! For being oblivious. And come all the way back here. I don't know where you can get up there. Uh, I don't actually. This one's kind of weird of a place. And also, since it's so dang dark, you got like certain vines and stuff you're supposed to bounce off. It's actually kind of hard to figure out where you're supposed to go. So this is probably one of the, like, the hardest areas to navigate. That. You've also have Patrick in this switch too. And other. I don't think. Do I? I mean, I remember. I remember messing with these guys and jumping from one spot and getting it perfectly up there. But I don't remember if that was legit or not. You see, I don't remember if that was legit. Did I actually have to go up that way, or is that just me goofing off? I actually be truthful. Otherwise, there's a vine randomly standing here. Let's check all this way. If we could. But no. You actually I actually never thought of this. Can you use... There's, like, make sure you keep here. I'm sorry if I wander around for a little bit here, because I'm trying to remember... <laughs> this is probably... If all the areas in the game I remember, I will play it through, this is probably the least one I remember. And this is why I kind of was dreading through this. I think figured, well, could I do, like, a different one first? But I said, yeah, I, it's, I said I would do it. This guy is so dang annoying. Let's actually go ahead and get the the golden special done. Is golden special? Yeah. There's a golden special down here. Uh, you need to make that jump first. I'm just dying to teleport here. You need to be Patrick. Patrick Star! You have to quickly head over. I can either head across the water, then make a right around, but I recommend just going this way first. It's easy than jumping all over the stuff. I'm looking at those annoying dudes, they're really tall. This area, for some reason, they don't respond. Respond. So, it's kind of nice. It means if you kill him once, you don't have to go do all the work and kill him again. Because this guy's annoying, he's gonna go this way, obviously. Back again. I'm not gonna do it, try it. Kill him. See, there's something over there. So, I wonder what could be over there. Or how. Or I just completely missed a jump. Wow, that was really bad. Ah, I made you back over there. Back here, now let's just make the jump normally. Thank you, I don't know why I missed that horribly. If you press this, the button shows up. Oh boy, how are we gonna get over there? I have no idea. Well, we'll figure out some time, won't we? Random robot, die. Or oh, random robot, you die too. Now there's a little platforming here, and you can see. And up there is the bump special, so if you really just want to go ahead and say, screw all this, and I don't blame you for saying, screw all this, because I don't want this area, then just go ahead, you can leave, you don't have to go deal with all this. However, if you throw this up, a nice little bank shot, right over here, number seven, number seven, I think this one this area, second one. Up, pull the sun land, go back in water. There we go. Put it in throws in. Uh, now I can walk over here. The point is, you can't get the button down. Which means you can't do this with Patrick. So, who do we know that can stand on one part and somehow hit something all the way to the other end? What would you need for that? I don't know, some sort of projectile? So, switch back to SpongeBob and head back over to that person's that, um, plate in the jig. Pressure plate. Random, that's friendly. Why is it? I mean, there is a suspension of disbelief 
that comes in video games that's never really talked about. But why is there a switch that opens a gate in the middle of the, the forest? Really? Why? What? What could you? Who put it there? Why? It's completely silly. Why is there a bunch of buttons that grow love vines and stuff? I don't know. Okay, so use your pull my pull my missile and we'll raise that. I'm thinking, what's that do? We'll find out, won't we? Not being so dang impatient. Wait for a little bit once in your life. So head your way back over there. So this is a very in not in depth, but very overlapping, very o overlapping, overtwined area where we got here. I mean, I would normally like it, but it's just something about this level is made, I don't like. Anyways, you got a camper over here. I see there's a sock. How do we go over there with a sock? Oh, you missed that clue. I'm getting, you're really creepy. I'm just saying. So anyways, it says, bring a Patrick Star. So we can't do anything over that. And look, here's how you could normally get over here to the button. Ooh. Sadly, where's the fun in that when you can just go ahead and skip all the area by jumping on top of the thing? I love these shortcuts. I, do I have to go up there from that? That seems incredibly silly, but I might have to. Man, I don't remember going up there any other way. I don't remember, so I think I have to go up there through that. Let's. Man, that thing doesn't bounce yet! The for last time too. I thought it bounces you. It doesn't it's a trap. Anyway, so we got our entire little chain of throw raw melon on one end. And pick this up and bounce across. Button in the air! Flying shot. There we go. It's kinda of like amazing. Yeah, I can't pick it up because it's somehow broken. Like, no, it's just gonna pick it up there. Jump over this little platform. Now I gotta make this jump. Not really hard. You just keep moving the analog stick. Make it there in no time. Going on to the next area. Got a checkpoint. Nice. I think where do we go next? Well, you just jump down over here. You gotta do a nice. Now it gets a little bit harder. You got one, two, and three. Then you got throw across, jump across, pick up the watermelon again, throw it. That's probably a hard one. And what is your reward for doing all this? Same though, camper. Hello. How did you even get up here? You can't throw watermelons. How did you get up here? I mean, how? How? That's, that flings you all the way back. It's some amazing feat. That's not really humanely possible at all. Thank goodness he's a starfish. Then we don't have to worry about that. And do we get to go up here with the block? I mean, this is just the strangest one in my. Yeah, do I? I think so. That's right. I think we get to go up here this way. It's kind of... Eh, failed. Die. Yeah, I'll get here when I get the right technique here. You get a lot of money from failing all those these times. Don't worry, I'll get it eventually. And... And got it! There you go. So that rock from down there helps hit. I like this jump. Yep. So, bounce up here. And you gave yourself a sock. That's a little more valuable. Have you been lonely out there all alone? Oh, poor sock. Now how do you lose your man again? How do you lose your sock all the way up there? How do you how does a sock get up there? Why would you try to stab a campfire underwater? And how does that actually work? Because there's been a campfire song about it. I don't know. So man, there's a lot of suspension of disbelief that goes into this game. I guess it kinda goes into everything, that's a little suspension of disbelief. Especially those belief if you don't know, it's like you believe in something that you normally you wouldn't. You get like a little benefit of the doubt kind of thing, sort of thing. Now if you're playing as Patrick, good luck with those things. Those things are basically almost impossible. It's just Patrick. So 
I don't recommend dealing with them. And we have the one's bachelor. First area is done. And a whole lot of forest. Still to go. Oh, 